Today we're going to review Wow, the Ultra Hermaphrodite. Yeah. Batman. All right. Yeah, that's right. The Ultra Humanite. This guy is pretty cool. And um, he is a collect and connect figure from Wave 15 from Walmart Wave, that crappy exclusive Walmart Wave that most Walmarts didn't get also. I got this guy throughout the years when I was on vacation several years ago. I found a Walmart in Texas that had all the Wave 15s on sale <clears throat> and it just came out too, like nine bucks a figure. And I was like, oh my gosh. And so I picked up like the Golden Age, Green Lantern, Zantano, um, some others in that wave. But I didn't pick up gold. And wow, the figure not to pick up that I didn't pick up is the one that made my Ultra Human Hunt look kind of weird. After a while, you know, I, I, you know, I just kind of go through my, you know, you know, collect and connect pieces. And I'm like, you know, I got a, I got all the. I can put this guy together, then I got to his leg. I'm like, oh man, I don't have his leg. But, I did buy gold loose, short, uh, right before that. And gold on the internet, I mean, it's like buying gold almost. He's like 70 bucks in package. And I didn't want to buy him loose, because I had him loose. I got him from Same Bat Channel. A uh, guy on Facebook hooked me up. I mean, I mean, he gave me a heck of a deal. And then... So I was like, what am I going to do about his leg? I waited. And you can ask Electric Debt there. I waited. And I waited around. And waited around. Eventually I just gave up. I was like, ah, that left leg never comes open loose on the internet. Until last week. Finally. You just got to wait. Had one for sale. Woo! -hoo, left leg. So I'm going to connect them. All right, let's get this hermaphrodite together. <laughs> oh, I love that sound. That sounds so cool. Oh my goodness, he's finally put together the ultra hermaphrodite. That is so cool. Look at him. Let's look at that face. Get out of here, Gold. They put so much detail. It looks like he came straight from the comic book. But according to Wikipedia, his first appearance was... Um, in Action Comics issue 13 back in June 1939. That's amazing. His uh, ability, superhuman intelligence, mind transference, mental powers, superhuman uh, uh, physical abilities, and ape body. According to Wikipedia, he was Superman's first villain, super villain to he faced. But here's what he looked like back in the day. Here's what he looked like back in the day. I'm like... Well, he's just a regular dude. And eventually, he transferred his mind and the stories into an ape body. And that's where it kind of stayed from there. But there you go. Pretty cool. That's Superman. Golden Age Superman. Earth 2 Superman right there. Since he's a Golden Age character, he's fine. But it says Justice League. So pretty cool. That'd be kind of, kind of a cool issue to find. He does have an accessory. He comes with a monkey cell phone. That's what monkeys have. Or cell phones, so I don't know what that is. It's probably some mind control device. But these spikes are kind of really hard plastic, nice disc, whatever that's supposed to be. Great ab crunch. Oh, look, sounds like a monkey. And then his arms go way out, they're really tight. He gets a swivel here, elbow, and a great wrist swivel. And it, where, where can you see it? Wrist swivel and a twist. And the, the monkey cell phone can come out of there. Head can go 360. I don't want to kill the monkey. No, 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 don't kill me. And then legs go out. See, the legs go out. He has an ankle and knee articulation. And that's what it looks like underneath the skirt. He gets into her, huh? Definitely recommend getting him loose on eBay. He's he's only forty bucks, so I don't get it to buy gold seventy eighty bucks with the, uh, the with his leg. Get him loose forty bucks. So yeah, you do the math. 
Um, now, oops, I love his, I don't know if you can see that, his veins on his head. It's so nasty. It's so cool. And uh, his head does go, there we go. You can see better. Alright, let's do a size comparison. Look at this. You know, Mattel, back in the day when they were, I mean, they're still good, but when they were really good, I mean, they could gave us a white version of Gorilla Grodd, but no, they went out and gave us a whole new sculpt for the Ultra Human Knight. Uh, the arms look kind of the same. Kind of. I haven't played with Gorilla Grodd too much. Oh, Gorilla Grodd does yeah, he has a little bit of a swivel in his hand. But the legs aren't what's totally different. See, he has these... different type legs that are really short and he has actual leg legs like a human would have except for the feet I do have the other monkey uh, it's weird how DC is all about monkeys but um uh, I don't know how to really pronounce his name Monsieur Mala Mala but he is pretty much Gorilla Grodd with a different head sculpt. And even his feet's the same, from what I can tell. So this was the um, signature collection um, exclusive figure. You had to be in the club to get this figure. This was not a figure that I really wanted. So I left it in the box, and I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with it. He'll probably stay in the box forever. Alright, here's a very popular segment in all my videos. Here is the Ultra Hermaphrodite looking out the window. So, how would I rate this figure? I mean, it's an older figure, but um, good job, Mattel. Needs prune it, Mattel, or dog a vomit. I didn't, only thing I didn't like, it was so hard to, to get that leg, and it was hard to get that whole wave. You know, you just had to be at, at the right place at the right time, and hopefully your Walmart had the, that wave. Mine didn't. Um, but I definitely like the sculpt. This was back in the, when Mattel was still doing some good stuff there. Nothing strange, you know, what they do now. You know, they were giving us bigger waves. Collect and connect pieces. So, I would definitely say, good job Mattel on this monkey. So, I really like him. I finally, I'm really happy I finally got him completed. I'm just probably going to put him down in my villain shelf. I have a shelf just full of villains, and that's where this monkey will go. And, um, yeah, so, if you don't have one, get them loose. Get them loose. 40 bucks on eBay. Alright, guys, thanks for watching this older review on this figure. Um, just leave a comment. I always enjoy your comments. And my next review will be something great. It's going to be... Too much funky business. Too much funky business.